Alright, so welcome back to part 3 of this uh, mini-series to create a simple notes app using Flutter and Superbase. So now, we will be linking our Superbase to our Flutter app. So, you just have to go to superbase.com, S-U-P-A-B-A-S-E.com, and you have to create and sign, in for an account, sign up for an account. So once you have created your account, you will be brought to this dashboard, Superbase dashboard, where you will likely have an organization set up already. So, to create a new project, you just press new project over here and then you can just give it a project name. For our project name, we'll just name it Simple Notes, just like that. For the password, you can just put in any password. Oops. For the password, you can just put in any password and just generate a password here. And then you can just create a new project. Yep, so you can see that it is currently setting up the project right now and you can just wait a while and I'll see you back when the project has been set up. Alright, so as you can see the project has been successfully set up and now we can start to create our tables of data in Superbase. So on the left hand side here, we can just go to table editor and we can create a new table. And give a name to this table we'll give it the name notes now take note that all your the names of your tables should be in lowercase letters and there should not be any uppercase letters if not it could lead to some complications uh, later when you are trying to implement some other higher functions i hear higher functionality in superbase so to keep it simple just keep your table names in uh, lowercase letters we don't need a description for this enable role level security we're not using this now so we can just turn it off and confirm we can just ignore the warning for now this uh, higher level function and for the columns we'll just keep these two and add some new columns so when you think about it what the your note data will contain a couple of things it will need to contain the title of the notes which will be of type text. It will also contain the body text of the note. So you can just type in body text, which, and this will also be text. And lastly, it will also contain the last modified time and date. So we just put last modified. Oops, I spelled modified wrongly. And this one will be of type timestamp C, TZ, which includes the date and time and includes time zone as well. So we can just leave it all as it is for now and we can just press save. And then now our table is being created and it'll take some time to create. And yep, our table is good to go now. As you can see, there are these columns, the ID, the created at timestamp, the title, which is a text, the body text, which is also a text, and the last modified timestamp. All right, so that's basically what all we need for to do in Superbase. And now we can go back to Flutterflow and implement and link our Superbase table, our Superbase project to our Flutterflow project. So to do that, we have to go to this settings and integrations icon all the way at the bottom and we will go to integrations and under integrations we will click on superbase we will click this toggle to enable superbase and then we also have to give it this api url and this anon key which we can find from our superbase project so go back to superbase and click on project settings and under configuration we'll click on api and then you'll have this project URL as well as the Anon public key. So for the URL, just copy the URL, go back to Flutter and then copy and paste it here. Go back to Superbase, copy this public Anon key and paste it here in Flutterflow. And then just press this button to get schema. And if all works well, you should see that your notes table that you have just created should appear at the bottom here as well. 
Alright, so that's basically it for linking Superbase to Flutterflow. And in the next video, we will continue on. We will continue to um, update all of these text, body text, and date based on our data in our Superbase table, as well as add data to our Superbase table, so that we are able to add functionality to our Flutterflow app. Alright, so thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something valuable and interesting and we'll see you in the next video.